what I do. <laughs> well, even even when I decided I couldn't go to sleep. What's up, Allron? What's Allron, up? how's it going, brother? Good to see you guys again. Is yeah, that man? Is that your out your window out yeah. outside? Yeah. <laughs> bro. I'm always in South Florida, man. South Florida, yeah. bro. Florida, I'm in Miami. That's uh, that's the view around here. Man, Love that, man. Bring in the beauty. Look at is that, that. Is that one of the canals right there? Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, it's the intercoastal of, of okay. Miami. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, there's a park. There's a park nearby that's right on the mm -hmm. water. It's it's really nice. Yeah, so how was, how was coming coming back home for you guys? For you guys, what a what a trip that was, huh? Unbelievable. It, it was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, the, the journey home was was pretty fun. Jerry left the, left for the airport like three hours before I did in like this big swoop of chaos. And we ended up leaving on the airplanes at the pretty much the same it, time. It really sucked. My morning sucked. I could have hung out with him, gotten blasted and had a nice breakfast. And instead I was hauling ass to the airport and then sitting. And I was like, shit, I was getting ready to board my, my plane. And there's Troy walking right by. I'm going, ah, fuck, I could have just walked right on. <laughs> yeah, he, he left me. He left me with like an eighth of nugs and like a half gram of Moroccan hash that I had to finish because you can't throw away weed. Oh, I had so to finish all that shit all by myself that morning. Yeah. Let's and see. he did. So, so I did. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> did, man. I was on. Awesome. You, what did you do with the hash? Did you smoke it or did you vape it? I vaped it. I, I stuck it into a mighty capsule and it literally filled one mighty capsule. And I just like dropped that mighty capsule in and I vaped it for like 35 minutes. I vaped yeah. twice while vaping this fucking half gram of hash. And I took a shower while vaping the half gram of hash. It's coughing my face off. <laughs> it was just like <laughs> token and coughing and. My God, I was ripped. Yeah, can't believe and I Jerry it. made me go in his room, and his room smelled like rotten pizza. Because <laughs> there was rotten pizza, man. It was disgusting. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a day! Something else, man. Crazy. Hey, uh, on that note, I'm gonna pack a mighty. Let's right. Go on, you on do on that, pack man. a mighty. But uh, no, um, Oran. What we thought we'd do is just. Uh, Kind of get you to introduce yourself a little bit here uh, we may we may do a, a more formal introduction later when we make the video but at least if you do it we'll know we won't miss anything we'll make sure we cover all your bases but you know tell us who you are where you're from what you're doing and blah 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 and then we'll, we'll follow up with some questions and we're right. already recording right we're recording troy we're recording who is your daddy and what does he do <laughs> okay so uh, so as you guys said my name is oren and i was born in israel uh, I've been here in the in the U.S., New York, and then Miami for the last 18, 19 years. Uh, I started my company, actually, a vape store, I want to say 2014, 15, so kind of kinda early. Um, and I realized that there's a big gap uh, with, with uh, vaporizing cannabis specifically. This was still in the ASIC days. I remember Jewel being around and stuff like that. So... I started with both kind of e-cigs and vapes. Uh, at some point, I phased out the the e-cigs, and I realized that the cannabis vapes, as you guys know, there's a lot of a lot of customer education that needs to be done. People just don't necessarily know what they need. We know we've been around, but most people just are are, are in the dark usually when they're looking for a vaporizer or a cannabis vaporizer. So I realized that, and and since then, I I kind of became <laughs> the vape guide. Uh, I have a website, the vape guide. Just search Google for the vape guide, um, to to see the website where we rank vaporizers and um, you know review vaporizers. Uh, also a YouTube channel, but with YouTube and all social networks for that matter, being a little bit unstable. <laughs> Joy obviously knows all about that. Being a little bit unstable, so we uh, I, I put most of my energy into the website. That's a wise move. I literally got a strike this morning. I woke up to a strike this morning. For what? Is there any explanation or? It was it was flagged as uh, uh, community guidelines, dangerous content, narcotics. It literally said narcotics, but it, it, it was a, a mushroom. It was a psilocybin video about lemon tech. So I'll give him that. Right. Okay. So. Right. Yeah. Nice. Well, um, I'm, uh, I was stoked to meet you, Oran. You know, we, we've, we've worked together, um, through the affiliate program at Planet of the Vapes for a little bit there, but never, 
never got to face to face or really even talk, just kind of emails. And, um, you know, you never know what you're getting into with that. And I'm telling you, man, I was really stoked to meet you. Like it was it was really nice to put the face and who you are with it. And, you know, parts that that, that, that made sense and parts that were totally different because we're just filling in gaps with our own minds. But, man, right. yeah, I, it was I really appreciated uh, get, getting to come to this event and then being able to meet you. Like, um, but, but I got a question because we didn't know what was up. Like coming into this event, what did you think was going on? What did you think was uh, what do you think? You know what? I didn't know. My kind of wish was a new product launch, right? Uh, kind of, you know, I was hoping for that, but I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, the factory tour. Um, I, I expected that to be just just the way it was. I don't think there was any surprises there, except except for maybe for me at least looking at the factory and seeing that there's a lot of manual labor kind of being done it's not as automated and machined as as i thought there's people sitting with almost like you know screwdrivers and stuff and putting the stuff together giving each product special attention hand crafting each vape so i it was that that was that was very nice to see but the whole being in nature together you know i thought they were gonna just uh, you know take us around but i did not expect the level of uh, of investment and how personal they made it and obviously um, the big hole itself but but it was very very personal he he could have easily drove with his car and just met us places but he was with us in the bus making himself available for us mm -hmm. for questions Anything you want to know, you know, it's just it's just very, very, very nice to see. It, it made me like the company a lot more. Definitely. It did. It did change that that image, like because when you imagine a factory, you imagine automation. And we've been to a bunch of vape factories and the stores in Bickle factory felt different. It, it felt mm -hmm. like a I don't know. There was a lot of attention being put into every single product, every single thing. Every single and very inspiring environment. Also, it's all open and well lit, and it's in this beautiful, in this beautiful city or town or or <laughs> whatever they they call. It, but it's just beautiful, very inspiring, a very inspiring place. And the whole team, when you see the team and how dedicated they are, you know, Sophia and everybody, every single one of them. I don't want to start naming because I don't want to forget anyone, but every single one. It, it did. It felt very genuine. Every yeah. everyone we talked to was extremely genuine. Right. Like I, I had some casual conversations with some people in the break room, you know, just like employees and, and they knew who I was they, and they were they were genuine. They were they were excited about the event and that was good shit, man. Yeah, definitely. It was nice meeting you guys and the other guys and obviously Pete and 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 uh, Paperize a wizard and everybody. It's so nice to finally hang out for real, you know? Sure. Yeah. Babe. <clears throat> Always a good time cool. hanging out with our peers like that, man. That's my favorite parts about going to shows is I get to hang out with people that, oh, you actually get me. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, <man>. exactly. <laughs> I mean, only a handful of people that can really get it. And, and, it, and it's nice to be able to do that. It's, it's fun right. that way, man. Yeah, they were all wearing white lab coats in there. You notice that? I mean, they, they were like white lab coats. Like it wasn't like other places we've been where like they're dressed like me, you know, putting on whatever T-shirt I'm working in a warehouse. These guys were like serious, man. Yeah, 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 <clears throat> yeah. That's it for sure. And then uh, what, what was your favorite parts? So I'm wondering. Well, we were going to ask you that. That's one of our questions for you, man. What are you <laughs> okay. doing? You can you, you can get us on your thing and do that shit. Yeah, sneaky Pete. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All you content creators are the same. <laughs> right, exactly. Shut up and let me do my job. <laughs> you know what? The whole thing was was sick. The hike to the castle and everything, but. I think I'd say the dinner, the dinner and the level of, of attention and me and Troy, we, we, we sat right next to each other. Jerry, you disappeared somehow into, <laughs> into the crowd, but, but I mean, the food was crazy, sick. Everything was from organic gardens or whatever that they have there and yeah, they from the grounds the meat and they made the butter with the with the herbs it was unbelievable so i think yeah. i appreciate food so for me and i almost missed that salad jerry you saw that oh my god that first that first course when they skipped oh. me and then and then yeah. the, oh yo 
Yeah. So yeah, the, and the food was prepared by the wife and the daughter, and served by the daughters. Like Jürgen's it was, it was Jurgen's family preparing and serving the food in their own home. They invited fifty people into their own home, right? And they did all the work preparing and serving. That the daughter was visibly concerned and and frustrated that you didn't get your your service on the first <laughs> yeah. Night. Like yeah. I thought she was mad at you. Like, <laughs> she was like, she's like, why didn't you say something? I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like she cares so much she was like yeah. no that your plate is downstairs we were wondering why there was an extra plate like we yeah. made the food you know like yeah. she, she wanted yeah. you to have the food they made everything for it to be perfect so when they made it so perfect and people can't experience it they think it, it gets very frustrated for them but definitely they were very invested and again like i said everything was very personal i felt yeah. very very yeah was sick yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. So the dinner was your favorite part. Any any least favorite part? Any least favorite part? Not really, honestly. No, really. Everything was... Uh, I enjoyed, for the most part, I enjoyed all of it. Maybe just like flying there is overall. But I mean, no, kind of liked all of it. Good. Yeah. Right on. That's what about great. you guys? Uh, least favorite would be the day one hunt for weed. I mean, I know Troy. Troy was inspiring me, man. My boy was like, "I'll get weed on the street." He was looking hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when you wear a when you wear a four twenty shirt, you get these these moments, yeah. Yeah. right? <laughs> like in Southern California, I get I always get told like, "Oh, I like your shirt," and then people ask like, "Is there a store? Where, where's your store?" And it's like, "Oh, no, 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 I ain't like that." But right. it, it, like fast food, I'm always getting like free drinks and free desserts and and shit. Like people are like, "Yo." I, the connection the weed so in walking in tootlingen it was it was kind of the same way except you you get like the judgments as well you see like the people that see the 420 they're like hmm, mm. like a little little shady look but then there's like there's other people that are they're like oh like they they, they they see it and those are the opportunities remember the dude that we were harassing because he had the pot leaf on his shirt when we were sitting at the bar and he was walking yeah. by and we we're like oh though that guy will have it and he looked at us and we we're like hey come here and he was like <laughs> and he started oh. walking faster <laughs> <laughs> we we're like no really man we dig you already he's like no nah. <laughs> so so you want to tell me that the everyday german 420 actually means to, to them what it means to the average american that's that's how you felt i think the 420 culture goes everywhere yeah, definitely, but it's recognizable by different, uh, you know, symbols or, or or phrases or whatever it is. So, so here here in the US, obviously, full twenty is very very recognized and kind of mainstream or household. I'm wondering if you think the same thing in Germany for the average person, not for the not for the enthusiast. That's a good question. I don't know. Should we should have asked that while we were there? Should have asked the artists what the average person thinks of weed no i'm it's, asking like 420 in general if you're walking around with 420 you think the average european maybe it's a good thing to ask uh, your viewers gotcha. the average gotcha. european if, if it means the same thing that means to, to, to us americans well troy's hitting it on all fronts i mean he's got the 420 he's got the marijuana leaf he's got vape on there so i mean he's you know, and plus he's usually got a mighty in his hand or pocket. So, um, <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna miss miss Troy's uh, intention. That's for sure. Right. And I'm uh, usually vaping. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Except when you're looking for weed in Tutlingen. Yeah. Well, I, was, I was just walking around with my mighty. Like, hey, can you feel this for me, please? I'll share. Yeah, it. I remember you changed once you once you got that ball from from a little uh, from a little uh, you know a little jumpy little thing. It became very calm and like. You know totally it's my medicine man yeah, like yeah. that first day was like genuinely rough like i i, oh, I turned to alcohol it was gross right that was, awful. <laughs> that was, awful. That was yeah. the man we both threw up we both that threw was up, that man. was the worst that was uh, the worst damn man yeah fucking german beer on an empty stomach that's how you do it yeah no no sleep an empty stomach well we flew stomach. in no Seven sleep years. jesus what the hell Anyhow, that's Guys, what we eat did. Anything interesting while while in town over there? 
Yeah, I had some uh, schnitzel. Remember the schnitzel was... Uh, schnitzel. Yes. I didn't know what to expect from schnitzel. That was the only word that we knew to, to uh, order from the place because the person in, for, in front of us ordered that. So it was, <laughs> yeah. was it a chicken or a beef schnitzel? Yes. I, th I think it was chicken. I think so, too. It was, it was pretty it was lean. Chicken. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the donor pizza. That was my favorite. Happy the Turkish influence there was legit, man. Legit Turkish influence over there. The Indian food that we had that last night was so it's good. good too. Yep. It was so good. It was so painful watching Jerry order tikka masala with no meat. Oh my god, that was absolutely hilarious, man! Like when I, when I'm here in, in Florida, because we're in Florida, uh, there's a place that you can order vegetable tikka masala, and it's just vegetables. And there, I was saying, you don't want vegetable chicken masala with no no chicken, and she's like, "What's your problem?" <laughs> and I, of course, I don't know what she's saying. I'm like, I just want vegetable chicken in the salad. You know what I mean? She's like, what the hell? Is <laughs> so anyhow, when we once she she told me what to get, and then we went some other direction. And then at the end of the day, I changed my whole mind and said, yeah, whatever you said. So uh, we were fucking with her. Yeah, she was she was pretty nice there, man. She she took it well. She took it well. At least why don't you from, chicken? Oh, I just, um, I try to eat as little meat as possible. And on this trip, I was getting to my maximum. And that was the last night. And I was kind of like, oh, this place, I can get something without meat. I really like to. So that's what right, I love. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. When I go on a trip like this, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to eat the culture. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to not do it. But then at some point, my, usually after a few days, my body will go, yo, could do with something a little sure. later for a minute. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Get a little jet lag, and especially, you know, I spoke about alcohol a little bit. That also is the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, right on, right on. Well, I uh, I didn't know what to expect going out there, but uh, we got the white color and the uh, the whole, um, you know, the charity and the movement and all that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested to see how that goes out. I hope uh, the, 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 the volcano with the cinders on it looks really cool. I'm, I, well, I'll, I'll be curious to see what that goes for. You know what I mean? I hope that raises some money. Yeah, definitely. Where where is it sold? Uh, I was looking for it actually. Is it on their website or or an external third party? I assume they would do like an eBay thing or something, wouldn't they? Okay. They're gonna uh, auction it. So I don't know how they're gonna auction it. Yeah, you're right. But um, sure that's not so we can can do that. Yeah, and in the white ones, I don't know if you'll be able to get them anywhere or if it's just from them. I'm not sure, but I think they're on yeah. they're on their site now, aren't they? Yeah, it might be. I'm just not sure if you'll be able to get them elsewhere too. If it's just from them, there's only a thousand of them, so they probably just probably just keep it there. I guess. Yeah, they probably. Yeah, just with a thousand, I doubt they would wholesale them. Did you bring yours home, Oran? Did they uh, what? There were like a thousand gold ones, I think. Yeah. No, I didn't get a gold one. What? Um, did you did you bring yours home? Your white one home? The wait, I didn't get a volcano. What do you mean, my white one? You didn't get a volcano. No. All right. Well, I don't know how many they got, but they had some there. And I know that the one we were signing had serial number one on it. Yes. And so I was wondering, I was like, man, if I could request one, I was just thinking of Troy. He probably wants serial number 69. Wait, no, 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 Troy wants 69, that? man. He wants, I don't, I don't have it. He, I, they're going to send me one, but he, I, I didn't know if you, he, if they're sending it or bringing it or what. Uh, but, but anyhow, I should have asked him for a certain serial number. <laughs> Right. Ask, for the, right. ask for the number. Once I saw those serial numbers, yeah, because I mean, Troy, you, yeah, I knew. Hey, we signed the number one one. Get 420. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 420. Four, oh, that was, yeah. That, whoever gets that one's going to be stoked. That's going to be a random yeah. one, probably. But no, that's why one, once I saw the serial number on there that it was 01, that's when I realized why they wouldn't let us sign a new volcano. Because I was like, oh, yeah, they, they need the first oh, one. Oh, you mean when you fucked it up? Yeah, I was begging them to just start all over. There were only like 10, 12 signatures on the fucking thing. And she wouldn't. But I didn't realize it was the number one serial number. So I was like, wow. Yeah. Dang. That's a, I think it's character, Jerry. The, the Jerry Roops thing, man. Seriously. I agree. Yeah, I guess. Well, what'd you do? You you, you missed the, the pen exploded while, while Jerry was signing it. Like the uh, pen yeah. just like. I it wasn't his fault. Yeah. It's a complete fuck up. So it was it just says J E R with a big blob of paint on it, and then I wrote <laughs> I wrote oops after that. So <laughs> okay, that's some personality. It gives it some personality. <laughs> it's, it shows yeah. you it's real. Okay. Right. Yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt. You just You're like not giving your thumbprint. It's like, <laughs> like yeah. On the ink. 
you know? Mm. Damn, I wish I'd have thought of that. I wish I'd have thought of that, Troy. When it was wet, dripping yeah. all over the thing, the, the best, and I'm like flipping out. The best ideas always come a week later. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Shit. Don't sweat it, though. Don't sweat, right, don't sweat it. Are you guys yeah. in touch with any of the um, personalities, any of the uh, journalists, artists that were there? I connected with a few of them. So mm -hmm. I, I, we followed a few of them and they followed back and yeah. got, uh, got some connections made. I wanted to connect with more people, but again, with without without my medicine, I was kind of antisocial for a majority of the trip. <laughs> like the tour, I don't want to talk to anybody. Like, uh, I had questions, I, I had things to say. But I was just ornery and yeah, and clammy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel you need a little bit to to to, to get it going for sure. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Were you you were on the boat, right? We went. You went on the boat ride. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did did you feel awkward at all, like vaping in in public on that on that boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did because. For us, for us, it's it's so normal, but but you know, in, in somewhere where you know it's not a uh, hundred percent uh, where it should be, it's, it it felt a little bit weird. Look, when it was just us, when it was our our group, then you know, obviously, right? But when these locals came and sat right next to us, I was a little like, okay, I don't know, yeah, yeah a little bit. Did you? I I felt a little funny, but I, I I'm. I'm... I'm really sensitive to shit like that. Like, I, I get the anxiety of, of, of things that, things like that. And I, I was watching people and I didn't see anybody that seemed offended. You know, like I didn't see anybody giving dirty looks. I didn't see anybody get up and leave. Right. Uh, I think I think because we we're on a boat and it was moving, you know, it was the, the smell just like immediately wafts away. So I think we were we were yeah. pretty sure non-offensive for the most part. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm sure. But it did, it did, it did almost borderline on one of those like a, a group of fifty come on a, a big boat in public and everybody's smoking. Of course, nobody's going to say anything. It almost felt a little bit bullyish, but yeah. it, it in in the <laughs> observance, it, it, it didn't feel bullyish. You know, like yeah, it, they didn't think about it until now. But you're right. I didn't really, didn't really register in my mind so much. It's because we're so used to it. Yeah, it didn't bother me at all. Like I, I literally didn't think about it until you just said it now. Yeah, me too. Like I was just vaping because it was natural and didn't even think about the uh -huh. fact that somebody could have really fucked with me on that boat. No, I, yeah. I, I, I just think of those are those are things those are situations where it uh, we're representing cannabis, we're representing cannabis and vaporizers, especially when we're all wearing our shit. So, I, I, I tend to always think that way. Like I don't want to be the asshole that's walking through the mall through target vaping my mighty vaping carts yeah it's funny sometimes but people see that and they're like well, that's what fucking stoners do you know like they, they, yeah. they create their judgments and i don't yeah. want to yeah. i don't want to misrepresent yeah. the culture yeah in general not even the culture like uh, you should always be uh, you know pay attention to your environments and try to be the the not offensive to anyone you know everybody everybody can do whatever they want but but be be reasonable about it so yeah 100 percent. yeah what did you think of the uh the raisin experience yeah you know what i hate to be a buzz killer but i didn't feel it so much number one i don't really like raisins <laughs> <laughs> personally i could have connected more to an almond or or a walnut but whatever i mean i'm not everybody <clears throat> it was interesting it was interesting, but I don't know. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it fully. Where the blindfold exercise, I did a lot more. I enjoyed that more than than, than the raisin exercise. Okay. So yeah, how, what, what did you guys think about it? I thought it was badass. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's especially for for me. Like, I, I I was talking to a lot of people on on this trip about vaporizers people so people were, were figuring out what i do and then they're like so what is what's your favorite vape and what are the difference between this and that and how do you tell the difference and and it's like when when somebody who smokes a joint as their their consumption method tries two different vapes there's there may not be a huge difference but when you try them all and that's your your daily focus 
you can identify all these different subtle differences in, in these yeah. vapor vaporizers in the way they work. And the raisin experience that we that we did is a, an exact demonstration of that. Like, here's these simple things that on the surface, they're just these raisins that you eat. When you take the time to like listen to them and feel them and break them down and, and chew them slowly, you you know you notice far more subtle nuances about the raisin and it changes the way you look at raisins and, and he proved it because everybody ate when they ate their third raisin or whatever they they naturally took their their time with it a little more so yeah i i i like that it demonstrated something that is often an aha moment for for people yeah, I agree. I, I see. I see it this way too. It was a, it was maybe a little bit too much for me personally, but you know, yeah, I, I enjoyed it to some degree. Yeah, it was, I, I it had was uh, spiritual. I had done. Yeah. I'd eaten raisins like that before, like with that intention, and it's fucking mind blowing. So, uh, I, I'd done that, but the rest of the shit, like when he started talking about really looking at it and looking at the differences and feeling them and. And then when he talked about rubbing it and listening to it, I was like, no, I've never done that before. And then he wanted me to smell it and, and put it up my nose. So I'm going, wait, I stuck it in my ear. Then I stuck it in my nose. And then he told me to eat it. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> After it's in by my nose. But uh, yeah, he did. He had a whole bunch of extra shit going on there that really got me to think. I mean, like, then we started to do it the next night. Remember, Troy, when we were hitting the hash? with um, Ralph and he's like, listen for it. You know, you got to listen for it. And I was like, oh, this is just like, yes, yeah. it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it does bad. make you more aware. I, I, I did feel that, that it makes you more aware and, and more like, you know, alert to the subtle differences. So in that way, I, I guess so. Just not crazy about raisins. How about when you ate yeah. it? Did, when you when you ate it, did you did you go slow and, and really taste the differences in the textures and the sweetnesses and all that? Yeah. Did that do anything for you? Yeah, again, again, like, OK, OK. Uh, 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 I'll, t I'll tell you what I took away from it. Anything you do, there's, there's a few levels. You can do it on the surface level, and then you can do it on a maybe half deep level, and then you can do it on a super deep level where you, where where you're mindful of 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 everything, all the subtles. So yes, I I got that, but but maybe just the 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 the, the raisin demonst demonstration wasn't. I don't know. Again, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a, a buzz killer, but but I got that, I got that out of it for sure. Yeah. Right on. Hey, you, so it sounds like you have some experience with like mindfulness and maybe meditation already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, I, I uh, definitely take the time to stop and like listen to things and enjoy things on on a deeper level I, I definitely definitely do that i consider myself as a as a spiritual person so yeah 100 percent. like for me meditation is is not necessarily to sit in in, in in quietness it could be you know we're here in miami i'll i'll take a 30 minute run on on the beach or something mm -hmm. and with my music or even without music and sometimes just listening to to, to nothing early in the morning for me, that's a little bit of a meditation. That's my spiritual moment. That's my moment for, for yeah. myself that I do for no other kind of. So, yeah, 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 for sure. I get that. That's great to hear. Yeah, a, a lot of a lot of things can be very meditative and get this gets very similar. Yeah, benefits. I know you're into it, Troy. We didn't really get to speak about it so much, but but can you tell me a little bit? I'm sure a lot of people know, but can you tell me a little bit? How do you connect to it? Yeah, I, uh, I I get a lot of benefits from from meditating. Uh, I I still struggle to maintain it as part of my daily routine, uh, even though I know that there's benefits. It's, it's almost like you know the benefits of eating healthy and exercising, but doing the work is still you know half yeah. the battle. Yeah. So yeah, meditating for me is is still in that zone, and I I, I try to meditate five fifteen minutes every day. Like five to ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes. I for a while I was I was getting up to like an hour per day, and man, I, I that was like when I was in my my mental prime, like when I was meditating the most, I had the the best mental health that I have ever had. Like yeah. I, I I see that that causation. I see the connection. Um, I, I know it's good for me. It's like 
little little exercise reps for your brain. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 100%. I like it. It's hard to do though. It's it's hard to do. What's what's hard? Hard to 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 to, to, to give yourself the time or to give myself the time. Yeah, I I have like a a, a work anxiety like I I wake up with like ah, I got to go do it. So <laughs> taking taking time off is is a, a tr struggle for me yeah always has been always has been sure. how many hours do you guys work a day jerry how many hours do you put in a day you you have so much on on your plate you know between plant of the vapes and doing this and engaging with the community and everything i'm just wondering for both of you guys how many hours do you get to work in a regular day i don't i don't really track it i mean i feel like i i work every day and the people who are near me in the last few months have told me I'm definitely doing too much, but I've never tracked it. Okay, if you had to throw a ballpark estimate, what, what would you say? You know, five hours a day, ten hours a day, fifteen hours a day? Six. I was just about to say six too. That's hilarious. Yeah. All right. I would say sitting down. I'm not counting those times when you're connected and answering questions yeah, and keeping things like, moving, but like at my desk doing shit. Yeah, six yeah. six hours of work and probably six hours of casual connected. Yeah, like yeah. not really work. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I feel the same. Probably I have the same split more or less. And I'm always trying to 